the Epistle of St. Paul the Apostle to the Ephesians. Ahai, Barak Mor. Glory be to the Lord of the Apostle, and His mercy be upon us forever. I therefore, prisoner for the Lord, beg you to lead a life worthy of the calling to which you have been called, with all lowliness and meekness and with patience, forbearing one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body and one Spirit, just as you were called to the one, hope that belongs to your call, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God and one Father of us all, who is above all and through all and in all. Ahai barakamon. sober minds, let us give heed and listen to the proclamation of the living word of God in the holy gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ that is read to us. Margimor, peace be with you all. May the Lord be with spirit. A life-giving announcement from St. Mark, the evangelist who publishes the good news of life and salvation to the world. Blessed is he who has commanded us to come. Praise be to him who sent him for our salvation and his mercy be upon us all forever. Now in the time of the incarnation of our Lord and our God and Savior Jesus Christ, the word of life, God incarnate of the Holy Virgin Mary, these things did come to pass in this manner. We believe and confess. And his mother and his brothers came, and standing outside, they sent to him and called him, and a crowd was sitting about him, and they said to him, your mother and your brothers are outside asking for you. And he replied, Who are my mother and my brothers? And looking around on those who sat about him, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my mother, is my brother and sister and mother. Peace be with you all. Blessed are those servants good, whom they lose and find. Wait for working when he comes to his wine yard. Good, 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 this Lord sees us there. Exaltation 
unceasing truly at all times and at all hours may we ascribe unto thee o lord glory be to the high and exalted one who brought us forth out of nothingness into existence to that high priest who redeemed us by his own precious blood from the slavery of sin and appointed us to adoption as children to him be glory and honor and worship in this time when this divine eucharist is being consummated and in all times and seasons and hours and all the days of our life Amen. more in the presence of the merciful Lord and in front of his propitiating altar and before these holy divine and heavenly mysteries and before this awe inspiring and sacred Eucharist incense is placed by the hands of this reverend priest let us all pray and beseech of the Lord for mercy and compassion O merciful Lord help us Does absolve and sanctify, who does forgive and wipe away our misdeeds, and who does not remember our evils, brought out, O Lord God, by the tender mercy of thy love, my sins great, many and innumerable, as also the sins of all thy believing people, absolve, O good one. And have mercy on us. Remember us, O Lord God, in thy mercy. And have remembrance also, O Lord, upon the souls of our fathers and mothers of our departed ones, and of all the faithful departed children of thy holy and glorious church. Comfort, O Lord God, their souls and spirits and bodies sprinkle upon their bones the dew of thy grace and mercy and be thou the absolution and the absolver to them to us O Christ our King our Lord and Master Lord of glory give heed to us my Lord Come to our aid and help us and redeem us and receive our prayers and supplications. Remove and cut off, O oh God, by thy mercy, all painful punishments. Spare us from the roads of wrath, forbid them by thy mercy. And make us all worthy of that supreme good which is for men of peace. Of thy bounty, grant us the gift of Christian perfection. So pleasing unto thee, so becoming and so worthy of thy divinity. Again make us all worthy of the supreme good. And unto thee we offer up glory and praise. Now and at all times, forever and ever. Amen. Glory be to thee, O Good Shepherd, who gave himself as a sacrifice for his flock. I give thanks to thee, O God, that in thy mercy thou hast made me who am but despicable dust of the earth, worthy of ascending to the place where dwells the glorious Shekinah of thy divine mystery. Thou hast lifted me up to the exalted regions of the Holy of Holies of thy majesty and enlisted me among the ranks of the cherubim that glorify thee and the seraphim who sing holy, holy, holy to thee. Behold, I stand 
in the fiery place and before thy flaming throne and beg from the absolution for thy people forgiveness for thy whole flock o lord open the treasure houses of thy bounty to the needy who beseech thee shower thy goodness upon the sheep of thy flock tear up the bond of our debts remit the debts of us poor sinners wipe away from thy memory any debts that we still love thee and may the lost ones turn to thee and be gathered together in thy presence and trusting in thy grace lord we approach this holy sacrifice placed before us may thy holy spirit be pleased in our offerings may the holy spirit descend come and sanctify this offering and absolve us from our cleanliness may the holy spirit clothe us with the garmo garment of incorruption may the holy spirit make us worthy of the joy of thy kingdom to thee we lift up glory and honor praise and thanksgiving now and always forever and ever from god may we receive remission of debts and forgiveness of sins in both worlds forever and ever amen i a weak and sinful servant will lift up my voice and say holy He is the holy father amen holy he is the holy son amen holy he is the holy and living spirit who hallows the incense of his sinful servant forgiving and showing mercy upon our souls and upon the souls of our fathers and our mothers of our brothers and our sisters our leaders and our teachers of our departed ones and upon all the faithful departed children of the holy church in both worlds let us all stand well and respond to the prayer of this reverend priest we believe in one true god the father of my king maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible and in the one lord jesus christ the only begotten son of god begotten of the father before all worlds light of light Very God of very God, be not to not me, being of the same substance with the Father, and by whom all things were made, who for us men, and for our salvation, came down from heaven, and was incarnate of the Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God, by the Holy Ghost, and became man, and was crucified for us, In the days of Pontius Pilate, and suffered, and died, and was buried, and on the third day he rose again, according to his will, and ascended into heaven, and sat on the right hand of the Father, and shall come again in his great glory 
And in the one living Holy Spirit, the life giving Lord of all, who proceeds from the Father, and whom the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke by the prophets and the apostles, and in the one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church, and we acknowledge the baptism for the remission of sins, and look for the resurrection of the dead. And a new life in the world to come. Give 
Give peace to one another, everyone to his neighbor, by the holy and divine kiss. O Lord God, make the worthy of this peace all the days of our lives. Stretch for But yes. more after this holy and divine peace being given, let us now bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before thee, our Lord and our God. Stretch forth, O Lord, thy right hand, hearts and hearts be lifted up at this time. With the Lord God are thee, our minds and our intellect and our hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord with fear and trembling. We did it and right to do so. Whom all the heavenly orders, divisions and hosts adore, Angels and archangels, cherubim and seraphim, thrones and lordships, invisible and innumerable, loud and extol, with voices unceasing, with tongues, works gave it to his disciples and said take it from this this is my body given for the remission of debts for the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal Valhai Salolam Valmi He took also the cup, blessed and consecrated. Barkimu. Ukadesh. And gave it to his disciples and said, Take, drink from it, all of you. For the remission of debts and the forgiveness of sins and for life eternal. Valhai Dalo commanded them beforehand saying whenever you participate in this holy mystery you are recalling my death and my resurrection until my coming again Udamo Dose No We come very tight O Lord and confess thy resurrection and await thy second coming May thy blessings be upon us all. We therefore, thy sinful and guilty servants, recall thy whole redeeming economy and operation. We await thy awesome and glorious second coming, about which we tremble and quake, and we offer up our prayers and intercessions to thee, and through thee to thy father, beseeching and saying, Labu kukadumaro. Have mercy upon us, O God, Father Almighty. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, and we beseech thee. O Lord God, O good one, Give heed to me, O Lord, give heed to me, O Lord, and forgive and have mercy upon us. Kuriya iso, Kuriya iso, Kuriya iso. And may the Holy Spirit make this.
his blood the body of Christ our Lord and our only begotten son now and always forever and ever Amen Let us pray and beseech the Lord our God as his great and solemn and sacred moment for all the spiritual fathers our rulers who are appointed over us this day and this life to shepherd and govern the holy church of God in the four quarters of the earth our holy and revered and blessed patriarchs our father magnesius and our father mar basilius and our father mar gregorius and the bishop our barak mo again call to remembrance O oh Lord, O oh Lord, brethren, the faithful and true Christians who have bidden us and earnestly requested us, humble and feeble though we be, to remember them on this occasion and this time. We pray thee, Lord God Almighty, on behalf of all those who have fallen in all kinds of hard trials and taken refuge in thee, that they may soon be delivered and visited by thee. And on behalf of this congregation preserved by God, and for the unity and prosperity of all her her faith with members that they may continue in virtue let us be noble we pray for exiles and vagrants we pray for those in prison or in solitary confinement we pray for the people affected by this flood we pray for orphans and widows that the lord may be the guardian and provider we beseech thee and to thee we will lift up this up praise and thanksgiving to thee and to thy only begotten son and to thy holy spirit now and always forever and ever And come over again, we come our mind here. Who is worthy of being God? O Lord, by the praise and intercessions of those who have pleased Thee by their good life, make us also worthy to share in their inheritance and to partake. with them in thy kingdom to thee we offer up glory and honor praise and thanksgiving for the os the upholder of the orthodox faith and more Ephraim and more Jacob and more Isaac and more Balaius and more so most the chief among mourners and more Simeon the stylized and more abai the elect one yeldoma basilios our father and the saints of our church more gregorios more danesias and those before them and with them and after them who have kept in hand down and entrusted to us the one genuine and undefiled faith may their prayers be a strong hold to us Let us beseech the Lord. O Lord, establish us by thy grace upon the rock of the orthodox faith of the three holy ecumenical synods and unto thee we will raise up praise and thanksgiving to the and to thy only begotten son and to thy holy spirit now and always forever and ever amen barkemo again we remember all the faithful departed ones who have passed away in love and in true faith from this holy sanctuary and from this church and from this place and from all places and regions those who before us have fallen asleep and are at rest and have attained to thee o god the father the lord of both the spirits and of all the flesh 
Let us pray and beseech Christ our God, who has received to himself their spirits and their souls, that he may according to his abundant mercies, accord them worthily of the remission of debts and the forgiveness of sins, and make both us than them to attain his heavenly kingdom. Let us cry aloud and they say three times, Kuri lai so. Kuri lai so. Kuri lai so. Kuri lai so. O Lord, make them inaccessible to the grasp of the powers of darkness. Deliver them from the vicious grip of the evil spirits. Rescue them from all afflictions and oppressions. May the light of thine only begotten Son dawn upon them and upon us. For through him alone do we also look forward to find grace and to receive forgiveness of sins for us and for them. The Methulose of Ulan Walhoon. Come for this, O Lord, and grant remission and forgiveness for all offenses which both we and they have committed against thee, willingly and unwillingly, knowingly and unknowingly. O Lord, hear us because of thine abundant mercy and save us as well as them from the coming judgment and from the afflictions that await the wicked so that in this as in all things may be praised and magnified thy blessed name along with the names of our Lord Jesus Christ and of thy Holy Spirit now and forevermore World without end. Amen. As it was, and is, and shall be, from generation to generation, for all generations, and forever and ever. Amen. Peace be with you. grace of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ be with you all my brothers and sisters forever and ever.
to die, Spirit. But more before receiving these holy mysteries that are offered, let us again bow our heads before the merciful Lord. We bow our heads before Thee, O Lord and our God. O great King, sovereign ruler of all, before whose scepter of authority all creation bows its head, send forth Thy blessings upon Thy holy church, that now bows her head before thee. And to thee we shall raise up glory and honor, praise and thanksgiving to thee and to thy only begotten Son and to thy Holy Spirit, both now and always, forever and ever. Father, spoken holy now, hallelujah. 
bola bro wala roho kadiza Yeah. 
Green. 
and redemption of all of us and have mercy upon us all have been administered let us again bow our heads before the merciful lord our heads are as before thee our lord and our god jesus christ our god who was sacrificed on our behalf by thy own will and by the will of thy father and thy holy spirit who made us eat thy holy body and gave us to drink of thy atoning blood o lord make us steadfast in thy love o lord fill us with the awe of thee o lord establish in us faith in thee o lord adorn us with blameless conduct o lord forgive the sins of our own as also of our departed ones so that in truth we may glorify thee and the father who begat thee and thy holy spirit both now and always forever more amen lord you are father full of compassion Ocean of mercy and grace Accept this Kurubana Which we have this day offered Amen Bless us all our God Keep us all our Creator Show us the way of life Help us, Lord, of us all. Be this offer you carries By the priest and peace the Lord Be glad in each his heart Our departed ones have sought Depart in peace, our brethren, and our beloved ones, as we commend you to the grace and mercy of the holy and glorious Trinity, with the provisions and blessings which you have received from the atoning altar of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You who are far and you who are near, the living with the departed ones redeemed by the victorious cross of the lord and sealed with the sign of holy baptism may the holy trinity absolve you from your debts forgive your offenses and comfort the
the spirits of your departed ones amen and may i a weak and sinful servant receive grace and help by your prayers go you in peace glad and rejoicing and pray for us always Holy are the God Holy are the Almighty Holy are the Immortal Crucified for us have mercy on us Holy are the God Holy are the Almighty Holy are the Immortal Crucified for us have mercy on us Holy are the God Holy are the Almighty Holy are the Immortal Crucified for us, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, accept our sins and sins. Have mercy on us. Glory be to the O God. Glory be to the O Creator. Glory be to the O King. Christ is our sweetest and best, our servant's bark of all. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven 